I was counting down the days until I could reveal myself. But I thought about it. Why not reveal myself then and there? Hey up, it was me. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Yardogs, the bomb but built for theme park news. As you can see there, yes, I was the hacker. <laughs> I was having a bit of fun with you for a bit. Uh, I was going to reveal it on Halloween night, but I think with like most Halloween events not operating and things like that, I was thinking maybe this Halloween wasn't the best idea to do something like this. Um, but it's, it's done now. I'm revealed, I'm the hacker, hi. And um, yeah, today I thought I'd talk about Alton Town Scarefest because there was some extra little stuff that we didn't know. So... Darkest Depths, that is coming back, but it isn't in the same location. Now, I would recommend checking out Tower Street for the latest photos of the new location. Um, but, it won't be in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard anymore, which I, I think gives me vibes that... And I'll speak about more about it in a little bit, but I think it gives me vibes about the back end of Oktoberfest. I think that's why we're looking at this. However, the new location finally clears up years and years and years of abandonment because the new darkest depths will be located behind dark forest which is in the location of the former zombie scare zone so we're going to talk about the history of darkest depths zombie scare zone my thoughts on why the courtyard is not being used for halloween uh, and share my long-term thoughts on the courtyard as well just to give you guys a bit of context on it so before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video make sure you go and check out our next updates which are going to be coming today uh from fantiania which is a new park in Aust well, well a new park for the channel but it's a, a park from 1996 in austria i'm going to talk about a massive expansion for 2021 in that park and don't forget to check out a video this evening from Silverwood Theme Park talking about a teaser for 2021. So we're going to check out both those updates later on. But for now, guys, make sure you go and uh, do the rest of the stuff on the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. And uh, keep sharing the channel around. Keep sending your merchandise. If you want a shout out, comment down below. If you want your merchandise uh, in a merch update, then message on the Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter links, all in the description down below. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the history of the new site of Darkest Depths. So, of course, Darkest Depths debuted in the 2019 Scarefest. Of course, it was located in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard, operating from 3pm till 9pm, and was given a four pumpkin scare rating. Now, this had a single ticket. This was not um, involved in the Scarefest entry ticket. Uh, this had a ticket price of £8 or £6.40 for annual pass holders, and it was recommended for guests aged 10 and above. And the description officially stated, Brave families can explore the depths of the sea once again in this family scare maze. On their journey, guests may find themselves enlisted into the crew of the infamous ghost ship, the Mutiny. Then beware of the sirens who will try to lure you into the ocean as you dodge the swords of the mutinous ghost pirates and come face to face with the sea's meanest legend of all, the Kraken. Now this particular attraction, for its impressively detailed sets, was awarded Best Set and Design at Scarecon 2020 this year. Um, now of course, this was located in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard, however, and this is the interesting thing, it won't be there this year. This is going to location in Dark Forest, it's behind Dark Forest, and this is in the former location that hasn't been used since 2014. This is the Zombie Scare Zone location. Now this operated between 2011 and 2014. Uh, it had 3 out of 5 pumpkin ratings from 5 till 7pm, and then a 4 out of 5 pumpkin rating from 7pm till 9pm. So, very interesting pumpkin ratings there. Uh, so the only way to survive this post-apocalyptic nightmare was to pass through a military restricted zone and pray you make it to the other side. While with zombies approaching you in every direction, would you make it through the zone before the zombies catch up? The attraction was the resort's first scare zone with entry remaining free to all park guests with general admission tickets throughout its run. 
Now this, uh, after a run of four years at Scarefest, operated for the final time in 2014, so it didn't come back in 2015. Uh, however, I'm going to now talk about why I think this is a very, very interesting and strange situation surrounding Darkest Depths. So there we go, let's talk about the history of Darkest Depths from last year, and of course talk about the history of its brand new site for this year, uh, which is the former site of the Zombie Scare Zone. So, this is a very interesting decision to make by Alton Towers, and obviously we know about the Mutant Bay Courtyard, we know that's pretty much going to be in use for Oktoberfest and things like that, we know that's going to be used for Oktoberfest, and um, yeah, this is an interesting one, because... Darkest Depths is obviously a pirate theme, however this is going to be behind Dark Forest, and of course Mutiny Bay is, you know, right to the front of the park, and Dark Forest is right to the back of the park. So, you know, even if it's in the zombie scare zone behind Dark Forest, it's still right at the back of the park. So, you know, this is an interesting one. So, obviously the Darkest Depths theme makes it very interesting, you know, are they going to make it... I I'm guessing they won't make it sea-themed, I'm guessing they will give it more of a, a dark foresty type feel and give it a bit of a rebrand with Darkest Depths name uh, and maybe maybe give the Kraken a bit of a dark forest story behind it rather than just a mutiny story. Um, so I think that the whole surroundings of the maze is going to be an interesting one to watch for. Now obviously the other reason and the other sort of question to answer is if it's not in Mutiny Bay what's happening to the courtyard? Well one I think it's for for Oktoberfest, I think it will be used for Oktoberfest or part of the Oktoberfest celebrations uh, and I think it will definitely be used for the Oktoberfest celebrations but what about afterwards, if they don't decide to go with Oktoberfest again next year what will happen to the to the courtyard, what will happen to it, will there be a, if there's, and also to be fair on the other hand of that if Oktoberfest is coming back next year as well but the festivities that will be in the courtyard this year are moved to a permanent space maybe on the front lawn, or in the towers somewhere, or somewhere near the towers. What would happen to the courtyard? Now, of course, you guys that are diehard Alton Towers fans, like myself, will remember uh, plans that were shelved for a smokehouse barbecue restaurant. Now, for a smokehouse restaurant. So, those plans were in the works a few years ago. They were shelved, haven't been used in a few years. Maybe, just maybe, they could be used again. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't think it will be a... Um, I think if they were going to go with a smokehouse restaurant, I think that would come maybe with a re-theme of Mutiny Bay. So, potentially, now this is a potentially, maybe they could go with something like a brand new theme for Mutiny Bay or just a, a reinfiguration of Mutiny Bay, like a brand new niece of life for the area. Uh, whether that be um, some replacement attractions, uh, some new pirate attractions, uh, along with the Smokehouse Restaurant, or would they just bring in the Smokehouse Restaurant as a bit of a new uh, restaurant option and a new major restaurant within the theme park? Um, and I think, you know, I think with the cancellation of World of David Williams until 2021, or with the brand new Gangster Grand of the Ride, there won't be much investment for 2022, in my opinion. So I think the most they could do for 2022 is bring in a smokehouse restaurant in the courtyard area and make the courtyard fully, you know, indoors, get the COVID restrictions on if they're still around in, uh, in 2022, and, um, you know, just make it, you know, make it a, an indoor and outdoor restaurant. So you'd have the, the perimeters of the courtyard indoors, and that'll become like a sort of an art, like, like, a, like, a, like a, a thin square restaurant kind of thing. So it'd be a very unusual style of restaurant and then you'd have the, the outdoor area in the middle with maybe like a bar uh, attached to either ends. Uh, obviously only attached to one end of course, you could get in uh, by one way. But may, maybe they could, um, obviously you know where the hot dog stand is that's out, out, outside the, uh, the courtyard. Maybe they turn them into an entrance way and maybe that goes into like the perimeter of the courtyard as the restaurant and then you have the outdoor and then you have a bar at one end a bar at both ends so you don't have to enter through the main courtyard bit but there's a new entrance way where the old hot dog and that stand used to be so that all gets transformed and expanded into creating like an entrance way for the restaurant so 
to be fair, I think the courtyard not being used for shows in so many years, you know, it's kind of like a dying space, I guess. It's only used for Fright Night, uh, for Scarefest. When I'm saying Fright Nights, that's next, that's a, that's a, that should be a crime saying that about Alton Towers Fright Nights. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, um, Alton Towers Scarefest, that's the only reason they use the courtyard space. So, it would make sense to just use that space as a smokehouse restaurant. And like I said, it would be lovely to have a very unusual style and have all the, the outdoor seating area in the middle with a bar at each end of the of, of that end and of course of the main courtyard entrance. You have a, a bar stand at that end, so you have two different bars. Um, and then in terms of the whole restaurant bit, the whole perimeter of the, rest, uh, the courtyard is like an indoor thin square, I guess. And then you have the entranceway where the old hot dog and stand next to it used to be. And that becomes like an expanded entranceway into the brand new restaurant. So, I don't know, it's kind of an unusual style. I was having a theory about it just while, before I started recording this. So, um, it would be nice if they revigorated those smokehouse restaurant plans. Give it a Mutiny Bay theme, you know, keep up the Mutiny Bay theme. Because I think that theme will stay at the park for a good number of years yet. Yeah, that theme isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Um... Or if they do decide to stay with a different theme, is it the start of the end of Mutiny Bay? Uh, it has been around since 2008. And of course, Merry England, you know, was around from the early 90s up until 2007. So it was around for, you know, a good odd 10 years, over 10 years or so. So, yeah, around over 15 years. Over, I think nearly 16, 17 years for Merry England. So I think that with Mutiny Bay being in 2008, of course, you know, it's starting to, you know, get to that point where Merry England was before it went. So maybe the Mutiny theme may not last anymore. I mean, they've got some decent attractions, but, you know, in terms of development, I think that Mutiny Bay could be one of the next areas to get some kind of redevelopment. And I think that with the addition of a smokehouse restaurant, that could be, if it's not if it's not thing to Mutiny Bay, it will be a phase one, in my opinion, of a, a Mutiny Bay redevelopment, maybe around the, the 2024, 2025 mark, maybe. Uh, so it should be interesting to see what we see from this. I mean, if it does end up being a permanent restaurant, then I would like to go with that thin square style because it's very unusual and unique to the world in terms of restaurant looks i guess so it would be nice to see that and i can't wait to see what happens so there we go so that's just a bit of my theories on the courtyard but mainly this video was talking about darkest depths being moved to dark forest on the old zombie scare zone site and yeah scarefest is gonna be very exciting this year isn't it we know it already we know about the the new stuff that's coming in uh with the gardens and of course freak show toxic junkyard uh located outside the entrance to or opposite the entrance to etc and opposite the towers uh, along with the returning stuff, Altonville coming back, Project 42 not returning, Subterra site, new dark ride in the future, who knows? And uh, of course we know uh, the uh, subspecies isn't coming back either, so uh, we know that's not coming back either. So, um, Scarefest, very exciting, new developments with Darkest Depths, very interesting, future for Mutiny Bay, future for the Courtyard, bit of discussion there. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys next video in the next video very, very soon. And then said next video twice. Why? Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as well. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Have an awesome day.